You can mention it my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. You can suck my dick. Risk. Risk is the amount of damage that can occur. Now, we've got to calculate risk. It's not just right there obvious for us, especially not on the exam. We've got to look at what brings it about. So we've got to look at threats, things that want to cause us harm or things that can cause harm. That can be the threat or the threat agent that implements the threat. Then we have a vulnerability. A vulnerability is a flaw or weakness in our system, application, security in general. Now, we only have a risk if that threat can exploit the vulnerability. If it can't exploit it, no risk. Doesn't matter. You know, someone threatens to do something really horrible to someone in California, but they're in New York, and they're going to do it by noon today, and it's already 11, 11 a.m. I don't think they're getting from New York to Los Angeles in an hour. They're not going to be able to carry it out, assuming they intend to do it themselves. So they may be a threat, but there's no vulnerability because they can't actually do it. Let's say they're in New York, person's in California, they're making the same threat, but they say they're going to carry it out in the next week. Well, they could definitely do that. But are they likely to do it? Are they actually going to buy a plane ticket, fly all the way out, and do whatever harm they're intending? Probably not. So the likelihood is low. Now, let's say 10% chance they'll actually carry through on the threat. So we have threat times vulnerability. You have to have those. If Either is missing, you don't have risk, times the likelihood. That gives us our risk. It's going to create an impact. We quite often throw impact in there instead of likelihood and threat times vulnerability times impact to calculate risk. Formulas appear both ways, threat times vulnerability times likelihood, threat times vulnerability times impact. Take your pick, both work. That's risk. Classic example is a broken window latch in an office. The threat is a burglar coming in through the window. Vulnerability is the window latch is broken. Someone can just open the window. The likelihood is higher the more people that know about it. So someone walks by, comes into your cubicle to talk to you, and they go, your window latch is broken. Look at that. Call maintenance. At this point, has risk gone up, gone down, or stayed the same? Well, it hasn't gone down because you haven't gotten it fixed. It hasn't stayed the same because now at least there's two people aware. Whether or not you were aware before is immaterial to saying whether or not risk has gone up. But that other person knows and you know. So two people. Risk has gone up. You decide this isn't good. You call maintenance. At this point, does risk go up or go down? Well, it actually goes up. Because you know, that other person knows, and now maintenance knows. Maintenance may say, we'll get to it tomorrow, but we'll rip you off tonight. Okay. Since there's more people that know, there's a greater chance of the abuse of that vulnerability. Maintenance actually comes up and fixes the window latch. At that point, risk goes down. The threats are still there. Burglars are still out there. You can be burgled. The vulnerability is missing, the broken window latch. It's no longer broken. So it, you can't exploit it. So likelihood of someone exploiting that vulnerability goes to zero. That risk is gone. There's other risks. You still have risk, but not that one, at least not with that window latch.